Back in mid-2022, Atkins were approached by Network Rail to help aid and improve the safety of these two level crossings. Existing level crossings are user work crossings and are notoriously dangerous for the local area. They've been selected to be upgraded, so that improves the safety for the local community and a AHB automatic half barrier solution was selected. The critical point about this particular solution is that it had to be commissioned as quick as possible because there was an enforcement date on these user work crossings. These being user work crossings at the time means that the, the members of public would have to get out of their cars, phone the signal up, open the gates themselves, cross the crossing five times in that situation. In doing this work, the user doesn't have to get out of their car, they can just cross once and then safely. This project had to meet the ORR improvement notice by end of September 2023 with a very constrained program that posed a lot of challenges, especially there was a procurement issues and with a very constrained testing program. Due to the type time scales of the project, um, we needed to adopt a speed principle to deliver it. So speed in itself is a, is a process that allows you to move a project forward faster, which in principle means you can deliver quicker for the customer and also along the way save cost in relation to prelims which meant that we would um, proactively look at all opportunities in the program to pull stuff in. Um, Atkins come up with a novel approach to the crossing rather than actually needing to um, cut into the interlocking. So they, they developed an overlay system using axle counters, which meant that we could be uh, much quicker through the design process, needing less, less reviews. It has allowed us to build it offline. It has allowed us to not use any disruptive access in which to build it. It has allowed us to minimise the amount of passenger disruption, putting passengers first. On the Coltish Allen B Lab project, we've had four graduates involved, right from the start all the way to the end. We've had placements with engineering management, project management and signal and test. It's been brilliant. They've learned a lot, but they've also been instrumental into the delivery of this project, which has meant that we've got a right time handback. We've met the ORR improvement notice deadline. We've got no accidents, we've had no incidents. It's been brilliant. This was an extremely challenging project. The team pulled together providing a novel solution and a commitment to challenge the delivery program. I'm proud of them and it's a real demonstration of Atkins Realis continuing to push themselves and putting passengers first. As part of this project, we've been in two schools in the local area, um, Coltisall Primary School and here at Tunstead Primary School. And we've just been teaching all the kids about safety at level crossings and hopefully inspiring them to become the new railway engineers of the future. This is the first time in partnership with Atkins Realis Rail that we've carried out one of these eight bridge programs and both crossings are within half a mile of the two schools we visited. So I think it's important that the children are regularly going to come across these crossings. They need to understand how to use them. The session itself was so engaging. The children absolutely loved it. They showed some lovely videos to the children that made the children laugh, they made them smile. I thought it was great that the video specifically addressed engineering as a career as well, which was it's just really lovely to see. I had several messages from parents after the workshop saying how much the children really enjoyed it and how engaged they were. It's quite rare for companies to come in to talk to the children, so it's really good to have network around Atkins Realis to come in. And I think it's really beneficial to build relationships with the children so they know about the wide world. It's also really good because it ties in with our PSHE aspect of our curriculum about keeping children safe and awareness of dangers. It's been so great to come to these local primary schools, all as part of this project and all in collaboration with Network Rail. Us working together to come to the schools where we've been working so close, the level crossing is literally down the road from the school. And so it's really great that as part of this project, we're coming and showcasing to the kids what the level crossing is all about and helping them to stay safe. 